Hello, my lovely Aries, and a very warm welcome to your January 2024 horoscope forecast. There are two bits of big news this month. One is that Mercury will go direct on the second of the month. And the other very big news is that Pluto will again go into Aquarius on the 24th of the month. So let's break it down for you personally. So on the second of the month here, Mercury going direct along with the resonances of Venus and Mars in your ninth house, lovely Aries. So you're probably going to find that things crank up slowly during this first week or two of the year, even though Mercury is direct, it's still somewhat in its shadow. Once it moves into Capricorn on the 14th, then you really should start to see some momentum and some traction, especially when dealing with other people. But if you're doing things on your own, you should be just fine. So on the fifth of the month, your ruler Mars coming into this 10th house, and there's going to be a big focus on the 10th house for you this month, lovely Aries. So this has everything to do with you coming out, being seen, taking more risks, being willing to stand out. You're very innovative. You've got many ideas. Which ones are you going to run with? during this coming year. There can be many opportunities for you with a new career direction, moving forwards in many new ways with connecting with more people. You are certainly being pushed out into the limelight. Now on the 11th of the month, we've got a new moon happening here in this 10th house on the 14th. Mercury joining everybody. So as you can see, a huge focus on this 10th house, which has to do with where you want to take your life. The 10th house has to do with achievements. What do you want to achieve? What qualities in yourself would you like to cultivate? Do you want to cultivate more patience? What, what is it that's important to you? Do you want to cultivate more calmness? So there are spiritual qualities that you could be focusing your energy on. There are also what gifts of your own do you want to bring out and share with the world? This is also has to do with uh, sharing your light. You're a fire sign. So it's important for you to burn bright and to send out that frequency of warmth that people are looking for. And you can really give that with a smile, with a kind gesture, a nice text or message. All this, it, it's the energy of what are you putting out into the world? And you'll see that you'll, you'll get it back in spades if you're really ready to put some positive frequencies out there. On the 21st, the sun will come into this 11th house, shining a light on friends. You might meet some new people. There might be some changes in your social circle, online and offline. And it's a good time for making some wishes as you gradually approach your birthday. We're certainly on the upward trend now towards your time. Now, the big date, the 24th. Venus will come into this 10th house and Pluto We'll come into the 11th. Okay, that's a big shift. So Venus here in the 10th, sharing love, setting an intention that you're going to share love, healing frequencies, kindnesses. There may be some good news as far as a career direction is concerned, as far as um, developing more of your talents, your gifts, being noticed, being seen a little more. So there's a lot of potential here, and it's about you being brave and courageous and saying, I'm stepping forward no matter what. And you'll get some great results potentially. Pluto into the 11th here. This is about you, wherever Pluto is in your chart, and it's going to be pretty much there, not entirely, but pretty much. It's a very short period. It will go back into Capricorn later this year, but until 2044, about 20 years, you're going to get Pluto in this 11th house. And it's perhaps most significant 
when it makes the move for the first year or two, that's when uh, there can be a lot of changes and shifts. And in the 11th house, this is about you powering up your dreams and your wishes, your intentions for yourself and for humanity as a whole. Really, where do you want to make a difference? What do you want to do? And how do you want to do it? And you're going to be somehow gently pushed into helping with the bringing about of new earth and the transformation that's taking place as we hopefully raise the frequency of humanity. So big, powerful stuff. And on the 25th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your fifth house. This shines a light on your creativity, bringing out your gifts, your talents, and a project you might have been working on may be coming to fruition. Let's see what your Oracle card is from the Pleiadian Oracle deck for this month of January. Tune into divine guidance. So you're really being asked here to tune into the unseen energies and into your deep intuition and looking for the subtle messages so that you're guided into the right direction that's positive for you and for others. You can get your own Oracle deck from my website, yourastrologyscience.com. And thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.